Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific New York and the creator of the Dot Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I am here today with mathematician Professor Lewis Blois. He's going to do a very good video today that is rare, and I get a lot of requests for probability. So we're going to do a very elegant sequence of questions today on probability. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, this is probability of independent events. Let's read this problem together. The probability of rain on any given day in Tulsa is one ninth. What is the probability that it will rain on both Monday and Tuesday? So we want to have two events occur that are independent of each other. Probability of rain on Monday and Tuesday. So when, when they're independent events, we're going to take the probability of the product of their probabilities. The probability of rain on Monday is one ninth. The probability of rain on Tuesday is likewise one ninth. Their product is one over 81. That's the probability it will rain on those two consecutive days. All right, what's the probability that it will rain on Monday, but not Tuesday? All right, so we want Monday and not Tuesday. We want probability of Monday times the probability of not Tuesday. I'll put a slash through the T. And what do we have here? Well, the probability of rain on Monday, the probability of rain is one ninth. The probability of not rain is the complement of that outcome, which is then therefore going to be eight ninths. So the probability of rain on Monday, but not on Tuesday is the product. One times eight is eight. Nine times nine is 81. Eight over 81 is the probability. Next. What's the probability that it will rain on Monday or Tuesday, but not both? So it's one or the other. Now we're talking about independent events that are mutually exclusive events. So we want the probability of Monday and not Tuesday, or Monday, not Monday, and Tuesday. So what we, let's put this into more explicit mathematical terms terms. Probability that it will rain on Monday times the probability that it will not rain on Tuesday. The or will turn into to addition, just like the and will turn into multiplication because they're independent events. The two uh, outcomes here are mutually exclusive events, so we'll add them together. We want the probability of no rain on Monday times the probability of rain on Tuesday. So what do we have? Probability of rain on Monday is one ninth. Probability of not rain on Tuesday is eight ninths. Plus the probab probability of not rain on Monday is eight ninths times the probability of rain on Tuesday is one ninth. Well, all it is basically is the same fraction we found in the previous part, but listed twice. This is gonna be eight over 81 plus eight over 81 and the final probability is 16 over 81. The probability that it will only rain on one of those days, but not both. Finally, what is the probability that it will rain on exactly one day over the period Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? So we have how many outcomes? Well, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We only want rain on one of those days. So in the first instance, it will not rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. In the second instance, it will not rain on Monday and Wednesday. In the third instance, it will not rain on Monday and Tuesday. So let's recalculate the probabilities of each of these outcomes. Okay, so the probability of rain on Monday is one ninth. The probability of not rain on the next two days is eight ninths times eight ninths. We're basically going to get the same product of the next two outcomes. Not rain on Monday is eight ninths. Rain on Tuesday is one ninth. Not rain on Wednesday is eight ninths. And likewise for the third uh, outcome, not rain on Monday is eight ninths. Not rain on Tuesday is eight ninths. Rain on Wednesday is one ninth. So let's figure out what the value is for each one of these. Eight times eight is 64. And nine times nine is 81 times nine is 729. And we're gonna get the same value for each of these three calculations. As you can see, the, the sequence of, of products is exactly the same. So the probability we're looking for is simply three times 64 
over 729, and we can simplify that. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 3, 2, 4, 3, so 64 over 243. There's the probability that it will only rain on one of those three consecutive days. Okay, there we go. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, really solid questions on probability. If you got any other questions, email us. Or if you have any ideas for any new videos for Professor Blois, let us know and we'll try to make them. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.